Hello, welcome back to YouChat Tutorial, and today I'm showing you how to use live chat and how to build a talk to human function. So simply three step. Hi, welcome to YouChat. Then you can put a talk to human button here. Uh, step two, you can gather, choose to gather some uh, user information, or for example, this one is the issue about product delivery or mm, they are making a complaint and then go step two. In step two you can notify your support staff. So click notification here. So you can send either email, Slack, SMS or make a phone call to the staff. So to check, so in the previous tutorial we've covered uh, how to integrate with email, with Slack, and also in 12, we show how to add phone numbers. You can check previous tutorial to see on how to integrate with those channels. And then finally, there is number 25, how to use notification. There are some uh, detailed example and demonstration in it. Freely go check it. And also here we are making, <clears throat> we are taking Slack notification as a example. So choose a channel and then you can send to channel or a specific user let's use a section and uh, in a section you can send your stuff like who need to talk to human and then you can also give some extra message like their user ID or product ID if they are asking for a product and also you can add some product photos yeah and then save so in step 3 you can then show some prompt I've already notified our support staff so please wait until they come uh, so if you wanted to ask the client to wait until the staff come then you can add a basic action to pause the automation and you can also choose to uh, tell, it, uh, tell them that uh, I've already sent out the notification and they are coming and during the, uh, during the time you can still talk to us to uh, view some information, products or menu like that. Yeah. And then publish. Uh, so that's how you build a uh, talk to human button. And then let's preview it in Messenger and give it a test. Okay, so customer saying hi and they get a talk to human button. Click it. It's like, okay, no problem. Please choose a category. So let me choose product. Oh, see, I received a Slack information. So I've already notified our support staff. So, so your staff received a Slack notification saying test a chat this person needs to talk to human and this is his ID this is a product uh, she's asking for so then your staff can go you chat log in on you chat account and then go live chat from the left side part so this is the user list and this is two file one is inbox so uh, each user who talk to you, they will be uh, they will go to inbox, and then once the conversation done, you can put it in fire it into done. And here's where you search a user, and this is the conversation area, or this is the button you use to move the user to done. Okay, here's where you reply user. We can type, uh, "Hi, I'm customer service number one two three. How can I help you?" and user receive the message here and note is for uh, sending some reminder for your teammate or yourself so by pressing the enter or this button to send a uh, reply or not note the note is in a uh, background yellow background color so this one is only seen by people who use live chat so and uh, user won't see this uh, yellow background notes. You can see, oh, no notes sending to user. Okay, so on the right side are the information of this user. So basic information, user ID, and this user subscribe to your bot. F first talk to your bot 
at this time and then the last interaction is at this time and this is last scene means um, your user last view the conversation and then remember we have put a pause automation action in the action step so uh, the, ac the automation is paused now so when the automation is for whatever user send the bot won't reply to user but still you can receive the message from user and you can click here to uh, stop the pause automation but whenever you send something the system will automatically start the pause automation for you and you can uh, use this button to add for example add one more hour and then finally this is the uh, user tag se sequence and user view area so you can use here to manually add a tag to user or remove it or sequence and then here you see all the user view listing here for example this situation variable storing conversation open in it yeah that's basically all about uh, live chat and talk to human function so thank you for watching this video if you have any question please comment below and in the next video we'll show you how to set persona for Facebook flow see you next time mm -hmm.